Let's get the fucking bully on. Let's go there, masters. Yes, I'm, I'm waiting for him to come on now. Yo! What's up? Can you guys hear me? I hear you loud and clear. You look good, bro. Thanks. You're a pretty handsome guy yourself. I'd suck oh, your cock if I was We're going to have to fuck around then, bro. <laughs> I am up, uh, in... Where are you? I'm Oh, no, he's... To, uh, to Del Rey. Where are you? What's that? I'm not exactly you, sure. I'm on I-90. What? You're freezing up a little bit, Jay, but stay on. Don't go away. I'll take a freezing Jay over a no Jay. Oh, now he's spinning. What state are you in? I'm in the I-95, like you people call it, um, in Florida. Oh, you're in your home state. Okay, I know this. you're all over. Yeah, I'm a mile marker 251. I'm just south of Daytona. Oh, all right. Very cool. I'm going home going for a week. Good, good for you. Are you going to the Arnold, bro? I don't think I can swing it because I'm taking a week off right now. Oh, all right. I was hoping you were going to be there because I wanted, I wanted us to hang out with Big Rob. We'll have a threesome. Oh, my God. I'd fuck his wife. <laughs> I don't think he brings his family. I think he goes solo there. You know, he's a solo flyer. Yeah. I wouldn't mind cream pie and his wife. I see. I don't want to talk about his wife. I, I think there's enough to talk about with him that we don't even need to fucking go in that direction. Did you get a big kick out of his prank video with the backpacks? Yeah, but I would cream pie anybody's wife. <laughs> okay, so you're not really being mean. You're just being you. What's up? I guess yeah. that's acceptable. <laughs> Having another man lick up my mess is on my bucket list. <laughs> so that's actually called a snowball. If someone actually eats the cum that's dripping out of the cunt after you left it in there. Well, to, to snowball it, they'd have to pass it to someone else's mouth. Oh, see, I had a different definition of snowball. So you have a yeah. eye. Snowballing is when you pass palm mouth to mouth. And the reason they call it a snowball is because the spit and um, makes the makes the snowball grow. It's like like when you make a snowman. Okay, I had it wrong then. I thought cream pie was just cream pie, you know, when it comes out. And then if either you yourself or a third party, could be a guy or a girl, eats it, then it's a snowball. But you have a different thing. Yours yeah, is... You could it be two girls like doing that? Like a girl? Yeah, girl you're, you're supposed to line up a bunch of women laying on the floor. You you come in the first one's mouth, and then they pass it down the line, letting it drool into the next one's mouth. Oh, kind of like two girls, one cup when they would drip in the fucking spit at first. Yeah. Oh, that's, you know what? I would love to be the fucking lab rat for that fucking experiment. You know, if I was in a snowball line, I'd want to be first and not last. Because you, 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 you're only going to get so much DNA in there then. Right. But if well, it's all women and you're the only guy, you could fucking jerk off watching them after you come. I can jerk off anytime I want. I don't need permission. <laughs> I could be jerking off right now. I, I think you are. I see. I see some fucking pleasure in your face. <laughs> you look like you. It's like just like you know, like in the. It's like the eighth inning. You're not that ready yet. You're just fucking warming up in the pen. No, the reason you see pleasure in my face is I'm happy as hell to be off work for seven days. I don't blame you, bro. That's a tough job that you have, kid. I uh, I've it. been in the Rocky Mountains for six weeks. Wow, that's a long time away from home. Yeah. Running the Rockies where men and men and the sheep are nervous. Oh. <laughs> I love it up there, though. Have you been to the Rockies? I've been to Denver, but I never to the mountains and stuff. I was just there for like a weekend work trip. You got to get up into the mountains. It's just, it's, it's, 
It's God's country. There's no other way to say it. Oh, yeah. But I like extremes. You know, now I'm going to the South Florida beach. Very cool, man. One extreme to the other. I hear you. Lou D'Onofrio was saying, come on, Joe, ask him. I didn't see your uh, your first thing, Lou, so I can't ask something. I want you guys to all get along. Don't The misfits can't fight. You guys are all good fucking dudes, and you're funny as fuck together, especially. No fighting. Come on. Everybody kiss and make up. Greg and I had our fight. We kissed and made up, and everybody's happy and over it. You're not supposed to say Lou's last name on, on the Internet. Oh, well, it, it was written on the thing, so... Then that's not the real Big Lou. Oh, it's a fake, uh, it's a, it's a yeah. pseudo? Oh, okay. Yeah, he, he's Big Lou something or other, I'm not sure. I'm following him, but yeah, I, I know what you mean now, now that you say if it. it. Yeah, if it's got his last name, that's not his real account. Oh, okay, so somebody's just, somebody's just trying to stir up some, some, some shite. Then. Yeah, I doubt I doubt Lou's on the internet. He had knee surgery yesterday. He's probably enjoying some Percocets. Oh well, hey, listen, that's the one time you can when you have surgery. Yeah, I, I had my knee done before, and I love Percocet. I had. I'm trying to remember when my I came out of surgery with my back. They gave me morphine with the drip, and then I was getting, I think. Oxys. I don't know if I had Percocet, but I wanted to get the fuck away from that. As soon as I could stop, I stopped. I well, we all know you got the drip. Well, the drip was just the first night until the next morning. <laughs> I'm talking about out of your cock. Oh, the gonorrhea. I didn't even know I had a cock. I was so fucking out of it. <laughs> the gonorrhea drip. No, th thankfully, I've never had to, uh, to, to uh, you know, experience that pleasure. <laughs> I guess I'm lucky. Right. Well, I'm on my way to see Brad, uh, Brad Leather Daddy Wolf. <laughs> all right, cool, man. Yeah, I'll be with Brad and Andrew and Lenny all weekend. All right, and, uh, you we're... Lenny fucking, uh, you, you guys fucking shook hands? You put that stuff behind you? Uh, we spoke on the phone. All right, that's cool. Well, now you're going to hang together. Yeah, we're going to film a Misfits video Monday, so be awesome. looking for a new YouTube episode from Prince Andrew. Oh, look at that. Breaking news on today's AMA. New Misfits yeah, there will episode Monday. Well, you know, he's so fucking lazy. Who knows when he'll upload it? Oh, all right. Well, you're filming it Monday, but at least once we're... it's filmed, we know it's coming, though. Yeah, we're filming Monday because the mail prick has President's Day off. Yes, it is a holiday. Yes. Remember when they used to call it Lincoln's birthday and Washington's birthday and they had two separate days in February? Yeah, you know, the, they did that uh, because of Martin Luther King Day. I know. I was trying to see if you were going to react to that. James Earl Ray Day. Day. An Obama Day, though. You know that they're going to fucking want an Obama Day, right? Why don't they just put Obama on the penny and retire old Abe Lincoln? Yeah. <laughs> I think they're going to come up with a black uh, fucking uh, Mount Rushmore. Black Rushmore, they're going to call it. It'll be Obama. It'll be Martin Luther King. Uh, they'll probably throw Farrakhan up there because they love him, too. And they'll put fucking Malcolm Excrement up there. There's a whole fucking... This, that's just off the top of my head. Maybe even Colin Kaepernick, Jay. What do you think? He, he's a martyr now. What's that? I missed you. I lost you for uh, a second. They can put Colin Kaepernick on Black Rushmore. No, I'd rather see some good people up there. Arthur well, Ashe. In, in their opinion, he's good. Yeah, who's there? The black I mean, the media? The black community. They even said there's a black Twitter now. Did you ever hear of that? I was listening no. to... Um, I listen to Urban View Radio on XM so I can hear all sides, not just the right angle. And they were talking about black Twitter. Is there a such thing, bro? I never looked for it. I don't, know. I, I don't pay attention to the media. Cause the, you know, in the real world, the hard-working, blue-collar black people I meet, they're nothing like what the media portrays them to be. Well, you know what? They got a fucking... Uh, 
you know, those are the ones that got to fucking have a voice and, you know, put it out there that uh, they don't just fucking rely on the nonsense that a lot of these other ones do. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of the, um, am I supposed to say African-American or black? A lot of the um, black truck drivers, are actually, they actually like Trump. Yeah, because they fucking work for a living and they know that he's yeah. right for the middle class. It's just the media that doesn't want us to get along. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. That's how the government wants to control us, with by creating unrest. Yep, that's the whole QAnon, the fucking deep state, bro. That's People think it's a fucking myth. It's not. <laughs> Look what we're going through with Andrew McCabe now. I can't wait to see that 60 Minutes interview Sunday. Yeah, that's, that's some fucked up shit. And he lied about some stupid shit, or not him. Who's the uh, Trump's Trump's uh, guy that lied about some stupid shit? Oh, Flynn. No, his his campaign uh, guy. Oh, the one Manafort. that they... yeah, yeah, he yeah. Was, he was fucking yeah, he lied to the investigators, so they're saying that they're gonna pull the uh, the plea agreement, and then and the, he's facing life in prison, Jay. Actually, so they're hoping to for lying. Him, so we'll get something else out of him. Yeah. <laughs> Liars never prosper. No, and uh, I think if they if, if he did have something like dirt on Trump, I, I think we would have heard about it by now. <laughs> it's been quite a while since they brought him in, and he's done jail time already. Well, Trump is pretty good at insulating himself and giving himself plausible deniability. Yeah. Yep. So you know, that's... I, I don't think uh, anything is going to come out of this Mueller thing. And I, even the, the fucking bipartisan run by Democrats Senate uh, thing came out and said there is no collusion evidence. So it's like, okay, then what the hell are we waiting for? Yeah, they're just dragging it out for the 2020 election. Dragging yep. it out. And my prediction, Jay, is going to be a blowout. Trump is going to win. We can go to bed by 10 o'clock instead of 2 a.m. like we did this time. Yeah, he'll still lose the entire West Coast and the Northeast and Minnesota and New Mexico. That's about it. He'll fucking, I think he's going to just wallop. What is up with Minnesota? They got that Somali fucking broad in Congress now. What the, He's worse than that, that Octavio Cortez Kennedy cunt. <laughs> you know, there's a funny Ronald Reagan story about Minnesota. And uh, when he ran for re-election in 1984, you know, he, he took 49 states. He lost Minnesota. He, he killed it, yeah. And uh, I guess the next morning, you know, he met with his campaign manager, and his campaign manager was all smiles. And Ronnie looked at him and said, what the hell happened in Minnesota? Uh, <laughs> he wanted to sleep. You know what? But that's that's how people think. You know, it's not like yeah, we did good. No, you want to win. You know. <laughs> you, you know what? Home. The problem with Minnesota is how strong that iron ore union is. Those miners. They're still living in the 1960s, where they think unions are gonna help the working man. They think that unions and Democrats and stuff. It all. Democrats are not for the unions anymore. It's it's they're completely for the fucking low income now. That's all it is. It has nothing to do with the fucking middle class working. And all of these yeah, people I, that think they're Democrat are fucking, they're, they're, they're fucking up their, their constituents by doing that. Yeah, it's not, Democrats are for pre, for people that make under 30 grand a year. That want you and I to give everything so they can fucking right. prosper on that. I, I listened to Andrew uh, Wilkow, the Wilkow Majority, on the Patriot Channel, and he said some people just suck at life, and they don't want to fucking work and make money. Too bad, you know, with this whole unwilling to work and money thing, with this game deal shit. People suck at life, and if they don't want to fucking get off their ass, too fucking bad. It ain't our problem. Well, you got to find something you like to do. Yeah, but you know what? When you need a job, you take what's available and keep looking. Yeah. Like, I look at it this way. I get paid to listen to the radio. I drive the truck for free. <laughs> yeah, but look, you just had six weeks 
uh, out of your fucking normal routine. Well, you don't even have a normal routine because you're on the road all the time, you know? But you're doing that because you're a working man. That's what's paying your fucking bills, you know? So, I mean, that's what you got to do. You, not everybody gets to fucking hit lotto here and do what they want. What bills? What are bills? <laughs> You know, I'm I'm homeless and I don't have an automobile. Your cell phone bill? I have a cell phone bill. Name another one. You can't. It's the only thing. Uh, it's all I. That's all I pay is cell phone bill. Gym membership? Yeah, I got four of them. All right. So there you go. There's two things right there. Your uh, uh, your porn. You have any? Do you have any like paid porn that you go for? No, I've never, I haven't paid for porn and since the old VHS days. Yeah. <laughs> Renting I porn. I the fucking stores and buying them. <laughs> and they had some that were eight-hour tapes. They were fucking great. <laughs> you never had to jerk for the same thing twice for months. Yeah, I remember, I remember having to use the fast-forward through all the boring parts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they used to have one called Colossal Combos, and it, it was like the best of and only the sex scenes. They didn't have all of that bullshit, you know, pool boy and the fucking maid and all that. Right to the fucking. And it was amazing. Colossal Combos, they called them. The hey, do you remember when we, were, when we were kids and shaved pussy was a fetish category? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because you had the... Mer uh, Earth Mama Muffs wouldn't do norm back then. Shaved pussy used to be a fetish. Yep. And it was like weird looking. I almost felt like you were jerking off to something that was underage. It's like you didn't write doing it. Yeah, now, <laughs> now hairy pussy is a fetish. Now, yeah. <laughs> One that I don't have. I don't have, but if, if it jumped out at me, I wouldn't run from it. But I, I prefer... You know, the fucking nice... I thing. like it when chicks shave around their asshole. Well, that's good, too, because I like to eat that part of their body as much as I can. And it's nice <laughs> to feel it like it's slippery. <laughs> it just slides right in when there's no air blocking it, like a doorman. Like wearing a purple cape and cap blocking my ass. Yeah, a good woman will shave yeah, around her asshole president. for you. <laughs> Two grown men uh, sharing bank stories. That is true. We are sitting here talking to them. <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> oh no, he's freezing. The bull freezing on me. Darn it! Like Herman Munster. Darn, 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 darn. Whoa, I just heard some, that one Jay's truck that was outside. The, the fucking, the big studio here. <laughs> Jay went under a bridge. All right. Um, oh, is he coming? Here I am. We lost you there for a second. Ah, he's fucking freezing. Now we turn black. His worst nightmare. <laughs> Charlie Brown. <laughs> oh, fuck this fucking box. Oh, Jay Masters, I don't know if you can hear me, but you're frozen bad. You look like I'm looking at you through like one of those shower buttons. <laughs> that hasn't been cleaned in a month. <laughs> and people come all over it. Am I back? It's freezing. <laughs> Are you going through Minnesota? That's what somebody said. That's why it's freezing. The Somali pirates are going to get him. I think you're going to have to dump me. This rep your reception is too bad. Yeah, you keep freezing up on me, bro. So, all right, let me let you go. Then, How much man. time That's you got left? What? You only got about 15 minutes left. Yeah, yeah, I'm almost fucking, I'm almost punching.
getting out anyway. So, all right, say hi to the fucking misfits for me, and I'm looking forward to the video, man. Show, put some uh, Instagrams up. Well, we're gonna do some teasers um, at the gym on Monday, and um, that way you have to watch the uh, YouTube channel to see how they finish. The seed. Ah, that's fucking smart. That's smart marketing, bro. Yeah, we gotta dust. We gotta blow the dust off Andrew's YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. You know, know he's kind of a lazy. He's kind of a lazy fucking Jew. We gotta kick him in the ass. <laughs> That's Jordan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Andrew's all right though, man. So all right. I'm gonna have to shove a Doc Martin up his asshole. <laughs> all right, man. All right, Thanks. Joe. Talk to you soon. Safe drive and have a good weekend, Jay. Be good, buddy. All right, bye. There he is, the bedroom bully, Jay fucking Mast. He makes me laugh. I like to laugh, and he makes me laugh. My numbers went through the roof when Jay came on here. He has a great following. I got to definitely do more stuff with the Misfits. I love the fucking Misfits. Venus the ride? What does that mean? Rogaine. Jay to come stay and have a snowball fight. Yes, the way he said it. Toop. It's wire cutting. It's bad receptioning. Yes. Panera, what's up? 410 bully, you're gonna come back. Oh, Brandon, we we, we got we I I I I gotta spread the wealth. Can I get a chick to come on? There's too many penises in this fucking program. Crystal, uh Kim, uh, 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 uh anybody out there. We love you, Joe P. I love you too, Big Brad's last album. <laughs> Eric is the shit cop. We do, very entertaining. More collabs with the Misfits. I know, I definitely want to do more with them. I definitely, I should take a fucking, a, a ride down to the fucking, uh, just for a regular weekend, just to hang out and go out partying with them and shit.